we are. Welcome everybody to Kingdom of Wrestling Sovereign. Let's go ahead and get this show started. And as we do so, I remind you all that Kingdom of Wrestling is hiring. Check the sign-up board. And it is, of course, our first competitor at a height of 5'10", weighing 189 pounds from the edge of reality. representing the Trench Brothers. And his opponent at a height of 6'2 and a weight of 215 pounds from Birmingham, England, Joey Lethal, the finisher. Our opponents are in the ring. The referee is poised. This is, of course, a match one fall. And there's the bell. Okay, we have an offer of handshake. Serve some uh, good sportsmanship. Looks like it wasn't well received as immediately Jay Lethal goes into a lockup. Got some lovely technical work going on here. As uh, Joey Lethal puts what looks like a uh, wrist lock on him. And then sends him with an Irish whip to the ropes. Oh, with an armbar takedown. And locks him in. Leon not allowing that to be done very lightly. Pulls himself up, but still gets himself locked up. That's okay, he counters with a snapmare. Oh, but is once again 
Oh, never mind. Sorry. No, it looks like, yes, that's it. He gets him in a quick headlock. Looks like a side headlock from here. And now, oh, oh, almost an attempt to pin there, it looked like. Both gentlemen vying for control. Side headlock standing up, powering in. So far, an excellent match. There's another Irish whip into the ropes. And another one. Oh, and then a drop kick to the head. Yikes. That's a quick way to put that in without momentum. Goes for the pinfall. Only getting a two count, though. Of course, this is really early in the match, so one should not have expected them to take Mr. Lethal down quite that easily. But it's always good to get it in your opponent's head, you know. You can do it. Oh! Tries to go in for rebound neckbreaker, but gets caught and hit with a pop-up powerbomb. Picks him up and then smacks him in the head for good measure. Now they're just punching it out. Oh, a heavy forearm club. And another. Can we see a third? And there's a third. And a spine buster. He's going for the pin. There's one, two, nope, only a two count. Alrighty. Joey Lethal in control. Dragon dragging me on by the foot. And he's locking him into a sharpshooter in the center of the ring. Leon's grabbing at the mat, he's shaking his head, he's saying no, he doesn't want to tap. There he goes, dragging that, that weight, plus all that tension, moving, moving quick, as quick as he can to those ropes. Trying, but no! Joey dragging him back. Applying that pressure, walking him back over. Ooh, that has got to hurt. Seeing that so near and yet so far. He's driving, okay, I see it now. He's driving his elbows into that ring. He's pushing, he's pulling. He's working it. Can he get there, folks? Can he get there? Wait, wait. Oh, but he gets the rope and... Joey goes for a break before the ref calls it. Picking him up again, putting him in a front face lock. He's done some serious damage to me on so far. Let's see if he can keep that momentum up. Ooh, hits him with a toe kick. He's setting him up. And another power bomb. But Neon stretches in a Hurricane Rana pin attempt. Oh! Only getting a two count, but that hurt. Getting up to his feet, looking a little shaky. Now Neon's tossing some punches and a toe kick. He comes off the ropes. And hits the crucifix driver. 
bringing Josh right to the mat. Or sorry, Jerry right to the mat. Too many J names. Neon's calling for the end. Yes, I know you're still up over there. Don't give me any garbage. Alrighty, he's holding up the two good to the two other gentlemen in the stable. He's climbing the ropes. They're two good and back. And there it is, a Neon Moonstorm. Flops himself over on the other man and gets the three count. Your winner, Neon Shadow. supposed to be done here in KOW. But, uh, seems that things in KOW wants to get turned upside down around lately. So, I'm here to tell everybody our mission statement. Our mission statement is to bring back the good here in KOW. Our mission statement is to bring back what's right in KOW should be right. And that starts, ladies and gentlemen, with my trench brother right here, Machine Gun, Josh Papo, who is the number one contender to the crowd. He's going to establish what is right here in KOW. He's going to show the Warbloods what should be done. He's going to be the rightful king and show that there could be good things here in KOW. So anybody who wants to sit there and break the rules, take shortcuts, try to be Billy Badass, here's a warning. Trench Brothers are watching. And who knows, one of these days, you too could end up in the trenches. So, with that, we leave you with one last thing. Ladies and gentlemen, the Trench Brothers is going to make KOW just too good. And there you have it. As spoken by their representative, the Big Shot, Benjamin Nirvana. A statement, a manifesto, if you will, that they are going to make changes and bring it to the Warbloods. Hmm, that'll be interesting to see. And we are joined at ringside by Mia. And seeing as one of our competitors is already in the ring, allow me to introduce him. From Sydney, New South Wales, Australia. At a weight of 192 pounds, at a height of 6 foot 3 inches, the machine gun, Josh Hoffo.
and I have confirmed from the back this is going to be a standard match one fall but now without further ado his opponent at a weight of six, 260 pounds at a height of 6'4 from the graveyard the king of hardcore the living dead cruel nightfire It's only a drink, 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 it's only a drink,
gets a toe kick for his trouble. Both gentlemen locking up in the corner now. And Cruel cool, goes in for a wrist lock, trying to gain back some momentum here in this match. Arm wrench hook kick, putting the Poffo on the mat. All right, we've got an arm. We've got a foot drag. So he's bringing him back out into the center of the ring. He's lining him up, deciding what he wants to do with him while he's got him. Picking him up, maybe he's going to take a chop out of him. There's an Irish whip into the ropes. Oh, and a really high air back body drop. Alrighty, Cruel's up on the high, on the, up in the high red district. He's looking down, but Papa getting up strong. Oh, banana abused as Cruel gets a taste of those ropes in a very unfavorable place. Even as a zombie, that's got to hurt. Man, that, 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 his chestnuts just got put over an open fire. Fujiwara arm bar being applied as he brings the hurt and currently demetted zombie to the mat. And the answer to your question is no. Oh, wait, no, sorry. That was him trying to say he didn't want to tap. My apologies. And yeah, you need to leave who I want to honk out of this. Bounces off the ropes and gets hit with an explosive drop kick to the head. The two other members of the Trench Brothers looking at the action going on as he kicks out, only getting a two count. Cool, still in it. Fingers broken, nuts scrambled. But he's still in it. trip over and he's he's setting him up but what's he setting him up for both gentlemen of the trench brothers watching of course if they plan on doing as giddy two-shoes and honorable as they say, they're going to have to stay out of it no matter what the zombie does. 
The referee is up to a four count. Well, let's see what the action has to say. Quill looks like he's sizing him up for a meal. Slides up to the outside of the ring and then back down again, breaking the count and resetting it. Always a good strategy. Oh, and hits him with a quick punch. Putting some damage on those legs. some of them outlaw stomps putting that boot right into his chest. He's setting them up. Going up. What's he got it planned? Poffo gets up. He's a little wobbly on his feet. Looks like he doesn't quite know where he is. He turns around and... Oh! Flies in. He gets flown into by the dead man, but gets hit instead with a crossface. Dragging him across the ring, but ew, Saki, no, no zombie gas. We all have to breathe that. Crew crawling across, trying to make his way to the ropes. He gets the ropes, and there's a one, two. Three as Poffo breaks the hold. But of course the damage has been done. Zombie climbing up, pulling onto the ropes, and gets hit with a regal flex for his trouble. There's a one, a two, but no. Quite kingly enough, it would seem. Oh! Going for another one! One, two, but no! Only getting a two count. Looks like he's not going to be pulling any royal decrees out of that one. He really has been working on that back, but oh! There's one of my plays! The Throat Thrust!
quick way to knock the air out of your opponent and put them down. Little note makes it also harder to breathe afterwards. With that throat injury, it's going to be harder on him to breathe now. And he gets some corner knee strikes for his efforts, making that breathing even more difficult and putting him to his butt. Oh, and there we go. There's some choking. It's got that foot jug in there. Of course, he doesn't leave it in there long, just long enough. The zombie showing him how this all works out. And hey, he wanted, she wanted him away from the corner. There he is. Away from the corner, belly to belly suplex. Goes in for a hook, goes in to hook that leg and get a pin, but only gets a two count. A lot of damage has been dished out by both of these gentlemen. Dragging him into the center of the ring. Trench brothers on the outside watching, anxiously to see what's going to happen to their comrade. The zombie picking him up. Irish whipping him into the ropes, over the top, but wait, whoa, it looks like uh, that Irish whip took out the referee. Mia is on the ground. Neon's over there nudging at Mia, trying to see if she can get, him, get her to wake up. Here comes Benja to interfere. Mia is definitely out of it while Benja's over there trying to stop Cruel from enacting any sort of shenanigans. Wait, uh oh. <laughs> they weren't paying attention. And there is the wild child herself, Vendetta. Also conveniently wearing that wonderful mask. They look like twins. And she takes down. Takes down Benja. Cruel putting himself back in, in place. Looks like Cruel's uh, getting back into the ring. Benja's been knocked down. Vendetta's over there doing something with Papo. Meanwhile, our referee looks like she's starting to come to. Leon out there not able to deal with it. Oh, and she Irish whips him into the ropes and back into the ring. Facing off against Leon. Meanwhile, as, yep, she takes Leon down. Bad idea to go up against Vendetta, especially when she's a obviously insane. 
cruel Irish whipping the very disturbed Poffo and hitting him with a power bomb. Our referee looks like she's come to just in time to see the pin attempt. One, two, and three. Your winner by pinfall. The Living Dead and King of Hardcore, Cruel Nightfire. It's only a drink, 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 it's only a drink. <laughs> They make a lovely couple. I think they make a lovely couple. Having this Kaylee cleaning the ball for Valentine's Day when that comes up. before she gets away. pounds from Himeji, Japan. The maiden of Don Susan, Akira Reinhardt.
because Lacey proves that she has no class whatsoever and is even more basic than the basic of bitches. This is gonna be a match to remember. Of course, this is a single fall match. One fall. As Lacey rushes in. And they lock up. Kick to gut. Mm-hmm. As Lacey, as usual, yells at the referee, then starts up into a side headlock, actually trying to wrestle for once. side of it in that side headlock strike bouncing off the ropes and coming back in a kill and clotheslining her down then another Irish whip bouncing the kill off the ropes oh but she hits her with a spin kick putting Lacey on the floor And now she starts punching with a couple of combos there. Does some twirly shit and throws some kicks in her face. Stomps her down a little bit and then goes to bounce off the ropes. Excellent job pushing pushing Lacey onto the floor yet again. Picking her up, keeping that momentum. There's an Irish whip into the ropes. And she hits her with a super kick. For a quick cover. One. Oh, but only gets a one count. What was that, Lacey? What? You, you got off on that? What? Uh, I must be hearing things. Oh! Picks her up, but it looks like, yeah, that looked really ugly. There's another kick to gut. Near warning about the eyes. But, still, in that moment, she's ready to get a snap suplex off. Putting the kid on her back. Something Lacey would know a lot about. Alrighty, well, picking the kid up and putting her in a front face lock, let's see what Lacey does. Tosses Akira into the corner. Goes to soften up that midsection with some punches. Corner count. Oh, Lacey breaks up from the corner, breaking the count.
A little bit of argument going on between Maiden and Clown, it looks like. Oh, but she's going for that knee wrap. One, two, doing the damage. Three. Breaks it on a four, but bam, that does a lot of damage to the leg. Getting her in that front face lock before she can recover. Dragging her out of that corner. Swinging neck breaker. She goes in for a quick pin, but only getting a two count. And now she's putting that ass to work and applying a sharpshooter. checking to see if everything's on the up and up asking if she wants to tap of course she's getting tail smacked crawling over towards the ropes Akira using the ropes to get up, but leaving her back exposed, giving Lacey plenty of opportunity. up showing a definite resolve in her eyes bounces off the ropes and drops an elbow straight down onto the shrine maiden here comes another ropes Another elbow straight in. a German suplex, excellently performed. She goes for the pin. But does not get the three count. Calling her a stupid weirdo. That's not fun. There's the slaps. As Lacey Miles tries to bitch slap the taste out of the clown's mouth. Uh-oh. There's the shout. And it looks like another super kick right in the face. It looks like she woke the clown up. And there's an Irish whip. Followed by a drop kick. That's what we like to call big damage. 
I think she made a huge mistake. He pissed off the clown. Oh, and there's the Devil's Gambit. Putting El Cravatni to the face. And a wonderfully executed bicycle kick. He puts the town bicycle back on the mat. Uh, I mean, Lacey. Only getting a two count, though. There's the rough pickup. Not too nice about it. Ooh, calling her a stupid weirdo. Telling her to fight harder as she hits her with a DDT. Oh, stomping on her some more. As Lacey once again lies on her back. Oh, and then hits her with a shining wizard. Putting Lacey once again back down. Going in and grabbing her from behind. Hits her with an Irish whip and sends her off into the ropes. But Lacey returns with a bicycle kick of her own. Picks up a kick. And kicks her in the gut while heading back to the ropes. Taking advantage of the stun. And fires off a leg lariat. It's going for the pickup again. See if she's clobbered all of that momentum that Akira had. Goes for a fisherman suplex pin, but only gets a two count. I think a two point nine 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 nine. Goes for that ground stop again. And now she's uh Wait, what what's she doing? Over there yelling at the referee. Yep, that was a mistake. Gave a kid a chance to recover. Hits Lacey with a jawbreaker. As she gets up, a bit wobbly from all that punishment.
multiple cravat knees to the face. A spinning back kick and then the funny bone. Signature move of her clown half. Goes in for the pin. One, two, three. As we all know, it's never good when you're hit with the funny bone. Looks like the clown decided she would not like being called a weirdo. Your winner, by pinfall, Akira and Akini Reinhardt. Leaving Lacey to just lie on the mat. This will be interesting. And speaking of, at a height of 5'3 and a weight of 113 pounds from Anarchy's Laboratory, your current queen of KOW, Ophelia Dahl. A bit of a stirring contest. <laughs> so, you think you got what it takes to be a queen, do you? more than what it takes. Well, I don't have a whole like, heck of a lot scheduled until my birthday party tomorrow night. So... Let's do this. Well, here you have it, folks. It's official. We have a title match for our main event. 
Ophelia Bell versus Sarah Jane Crowley. The Dolly versus the Bee. This is gonna be a match to remember. Yep, we got Barbie versus Barbie. Live and let die. Give me a check to see if everyone's ready. Sarah Jane saying bang straight. Trophy shots, let's do this as the bell rings. You can feel the calm before the storm at the round begins. And there's a spinning back kick to open things up. Oh, we'll buy a left punch. And a right punch. And a combo of punches. She's just getting all sorts of punchy. Comes off the ropes, heading at SJC. And hits her with a drop kick to the face. Trying to put a little bit more pucker on them lips. Who goes for the quick pinfall but only gets a one count. Yeah, sis, you should know better. I mean, that is Madame Maytag you're in the ring with. One does not just slap a vending machine and expect it to do what they ask. And speaking of which, Sarah Jane Crowley... Goes for that ground tackle and begins smacking the queen. Oh, but there's a t drop to hold. Introducing SJC to the map. Sounding smack sound as Ophelia gives a spank. You know, yeah, okay. And there's some stomps. I'm going to keep my opinions about Sarah Jane's ass to myself. And the dolly drops a leg right on SJC. Oh, but there's a leg sweep bringing the dolly down. Yeah, it'd be no contest. Sarah would win. An ass off between Lacey and Sarah. Sarah wins. There's enough muscle in Sarah, Sarah's ass if she was to uh, twerk and give an ass clap going, she'd probably cause an earthquake. But 
Ophelia getting up. And there's a headbutt. Followed by another headbutt. And a kick to the gut. Although, yeah. Moving ahead, kicking to the gut. Rolling and a shove. Sis, kicking a gut? That, that's like kicking a wall. <laughs> so, so really those were, were um, boob bangs. This isn't that kind of fight, dear sis. Oh, she yells out, what you got now, Hayseed? Taunting the Sarah. Ooh, shoving her even. And there was a large shove back. <laughs> and Sarah yells out, that's how you shove, Tiny Tot. She picks up our queen rather roughly. And returns those knees to the gut. With a forearm club hammering her down. Oh, and then hits her with a backbreaker. Those are not fun. Picks her up again. And returns with another backbreaker. Working on that lower back. As the doll screams in pain. Sarah Jane not relenting. She's going for it again. There's an Irish whip sending the doll into the ropes. When she comes back. Oh, a gut wrench backbreaker. Damn. And now she's just stomping on her. Trying to see if she can break a dolly. Binds herself up. Oh no. Looks like she's learned from me. Or with a variation of the sleeper, and that is the dragon sleeper hold. Very vicious, very hard to get out of. Ophie's got to get. Ophie's gonna have to do something, or the crown is gone. Sarah said, now, ready for a nap, darling? Ophie's screaming out, no. So she decides to give her an inverted suplex and asks, how about now? And Ophelia's still shouting, no, no, no. Sarah Jane pops her in to the low rider. She's doing some low riding. Mm, getting that bounce, putting that hydraulic, making it look like she's riding them hydraulics. I'm gonna take Ophie down the boulevard.
She's straining, but she's crawling. She's heading to the ropes. Can she make it? Can she do it? There we go. One, two. She gets the ropes and the hold breaks, but that hold is so devastating. Even if you get it broken, it does so much damage. Kofi rem remarkably gets up and is on the ropes. Oh, but that just made things worse as she gets hit with a surfboard through those ropes. Pressing on that back, the abdomen, the neck, the head. With that big, thick knee driving right into her. Yikes! Oh, and then she switches it up to a leg choke from the top rope. She is letting it all out. So far, Sarah Jane's got full control of this match. Oh, and there's the Wrangler. Goes for the pin. Can she get a three? Gets a one, a two. No! Only gets a two count. To be honest, I am very amazed at the resilience that Ophi is showing. I've been in the ring with SJC twice now. And both times, that was a hard fight. Alrighty, Sarah Jane is over at the referee yelling at Mia. While Ophelia gets up, she goes over to the corner. What could she be planning? Ophelia catching her rest. Meanwhile, more complaints. Sarah comes charging in and gets hit with them corner push-up head scissors. Uh-huh. And who here saw that coming? You would think SJC would know better. And there is the Head Scissors Takedown. And she hits her with a Starship Pain. Goes for the pin. One, two. Oh, but only a two count. Sophie looks like she's in a bit of pain as she gets up, struggling to get back to her feet before Sarah does. Oh, 
but she hits Sarah Jane with the double alley. One of the doll's signature moves. But can she finish it? Picks up. Irish whipping her into the corner. And introduces Sarah Jane to the turnbuckle intimately with her head. She's setting her up for something. Has her up there on them ropes. Did we see some muffin abuse? And a stratosphere. Tossing Sarah Jane off that top rope and onto the ring floor. There's a pickup from behind. And she gets her slob on by throwing out a Russian leg sweep. Telling Sarah to get up. Oh, several kicks landing on them big, thick thighs. Going in for a roundhouse kick, and the dance on doll kick. And we've got one, two, almost, damn. These two are really punishing each other. This is what you would expect of our champion and anyone capable of giving her a good run for her money as a contender. An awesome show by both of these contestants. They're both getting up. Looks like they're being slow to get up to their feet, though. Oh, and the doll tackles her down once again. Starts beating on her, giving her that royal decree with her fists. We need to stay down with stupid hayseed. Ooh, such unladylike words from our Dolly Queen. As she proceeds to once again beat some more Royal Decree. And then stomps some of that Royal Decree in as well. Picks her up. Irish whips her into the ropes. Seven, eight, 
nine, ten, ten corner punches. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Ophi, of course, being asked pretty pleased to exit the corner as she growls at her at her opponent. Oh, and Sarah taking the opportunity to land a spear and put the queen on the mat. Looks like Sarah Jane's taking in the momentum. Looks like it might be her turn to lay down some punishment. Maybe put out some uh, words of her own. And she does so with an abdominal stretch. Giving uh, the, the dolly a chance to really spread them abs. Irish whips the doll into the road, springing her back. And, oh no! There it is, the Twista in a trailer park. The doll yelling, Wee! And she gets an attempt to be pinned, but still only gets a two count. Dang it! As Sarah Jane gets up very frustrated, outlaw stomps being applied to our, our queen. Let's see what she's got in store next. One of these ladies needs to figure out something to put away the other. a springboard suplex getting that momentum off the ropes while tossing our dolly clean all about like a rag doll there's some more stomping trying to make a midsection one with the mat Sarah Jane's raising the horns. It usually means she's calling for the end. Picking up the doll. There's an Irish whip into the ropes. But instead, she gets hit with a tilt your world. And it looks like her world got tilted. Sarah Jane shows her butt to Ophi. Uh oh. The clockwork countdown has been applied. And it is cinched in. Ophi shouting out, you're going down, big mama. Uh 
up. This oh is is uh Ophie is yelling scream for me. And there it is, the winner by tap out. Our queen, Ophelia Dahl. And there's that resounding smack with an ass being slapped one more time. Pushing Sarah Jean to the map. Oh! And there you have it. Our queen once again defends her crown. Better luck next time, big angry mama darling. As Mia offers Queen Ophelia some cake and her crown. Yes, here at King Bear Wrestling, you not only you can not only defend your crown, but you get cake. That way we're like this Church of England, cake or death. And as we watch our queen celebrate with her celebratory cake. We love you all, dollies, and we will see you next year. Yay! As she assists up. Nicely done, nicely done. Sarah heads to the back. <laughs>